Fishnets are back. Here's some famous ones. Rita Hayworth, Marilyn Monroe, Ava Gardner. They all got away with their fishnets, but are they tarty today? Angela Rippon reports, legs and all. The female cast of the West End musical Chicago know all about the pulling power of the fishnet. Since opening, every show has sold out. Starring leggy cabaret singer Uti Lempera and Ruthie Henschel, better known as a good girl in Crazy For You, the cast high kick their way through eight performances a week. Now that's a pretty gruelling schedule for the dancers and their tights, which is why we thought they'd be ideal candidates for trying out some of those that are currently available. Okay, girls, you're the experts. What are you actually looking for when you put on a pair of fishnet tights? Something that's flattering to the leg with a good support. I don't think any girl would like a tight that's not flattering to the leg. A softness, I'd say. There's nothing worse than putting on tights and they're scratching up your legs. I hate it when they get baggy around the, around the ankles. You know, you get a Nora Batty situation happening or around the <laughs> knees. You know, it's just not very attractive. Our dancers are going to be trying out Flamenco by Fogel, described as the Rolls Royce of fishnets. Capizio by Freed, stage friendly, especially designed for dancers. The 60s by Wolford, who created last year's best-selling Follow Me tights. At half those prices, Couture by Christian Dior are a standard fishnet. These by Jonathan Aston are the cheapest in our test group. And Showstoppers by Sock Shop have slightly larger holes. Well, we're giving each of the dancers all six pairs of tights so that they can wear them for work and play and choose which they like best. But just what is it about fishnets which makes them so popular? Fishnets have been around for, all oh, about 100 years and they've got a very, very enduring appeal, probably because they're associated with bad girls. This sort of idea tends to come from the fact that fishnets have been used in the theatre for such a long time. Women who worked on the stage were generally thought of as being a little bit loose in terms of their morality. Well, my sweet baby wears... Well, they might have been around for a century, but fishnets with all their sex-charged messages are still favourites with men. They're provocative without going the whole way, and men do like to use their imaginations a bit. The type of women that wear them, they're the type of women that, if you don't perform properly, they end up with your meat and two veg on the mantelpiece. Men tend to take them very seriously and think that they're a kind of shorthand for a sexually available, active, almost predatory woman. Whereas women seem to see them as a bit of a laugh, really, and a bit of a, a bit of a laugh at their own sexuality. To test this theory, we took six different pairs of tights to Whiteley Shopping Centre to see which men and women prefer. I suppose these, really, because they're the sexiest. I wouldn't wear tights like that unless I was going to a fancy dress party. I remember my music teacher, I think her name was Agnes, um, wearing them um, when I was at school. Wow. Well, they give the wrong impression. Yeah, they're tarty, um, provocative. They're yeah, slapper tights. Yeah. yeah. Fishnets were favourite for 13 out of 30 men, but only 2 out of 30 women put them ahead of the more practical opaques. Opaque colours? Yeah, nice. My taste goes for here. The reindeer will go for them, I think. Like all the other men. Well, that's the Santa test, but now for something more scientific. We sent the fishnets to SGS Labs for comparison. We looked for shrinkage, quality of stitching, appearance after washing, and colour fastness. So which pair came out best? Well, it's always difficult trying to choose one best one from six. But in, we looked at makeup and they're much the same. We looked at appearance after washing and they're much the same. And we looked at colour fastness and we found staining onto nylon in many cases. And then we looked again at handle and stretch and what we expected from performance in wear. And it came down to this one, which is uh, couture by Christian Dior. So what was the verdict on, on the couture tights? Uh -uh. Thumbs down. <laughs> The girls were more concerned about how they looked, even if they were twice the price. So, if we've got to pick one, which is the winner? Capizio. Probably Capizio. Capizio. I guess so. Definitely. Absolutely. Maybe. 
Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Strength, support, flattering to the leg, good reinforced under the sole, yeah. and good for tall ladies, which is unusual. Yeah.